Hello everybody and welcome back to Gamer Reality. In this video, I wanted to discuss why I think the Oculus Quest has brought us one step closer to the Oasis from Ready Player One. But before I do that, I just wanted to quickly mention that you should subscribe to me, Gamer Reality, for more videos on virtual reality and especially on the Quest. Anyways, on with the video. So the biggest reason that I would make a claim like this about the Quest and not any other headset that's coming out recently is because of one thing, it's standalone. If you don't know what that fully means, Let's break it down for you. Most high tier headsets like the HTC Vive and Oculus Rift require powerful computers to plug into and sensors scattered around the room to track it in a three dimensional space. A standalone headset like the Oculus Quest won't need any of that as it's all inside the headset. This means that it will be cheaper, easier to set up, no cables, and much more portable. And that reason alone has brought us closer to the Oasis. You can see in the movie that the headsets aren't wired to computers, but the headsets are instead completely wireless. The headsets in the movie are also slimmer, transparent, and seem to have infinite battery life. But we'll get there eventually. Also, by being standalone, ease of use will be a game changer. This means that more people will be getting into VR than ever before, and also will be able to play on the go, as seen in the movie. So what are we missing hardware-wise to reach the level of immersion as seen in the movie? There are three major pieces, gloves, a haptic suit, and an omnidirectional treadmill. But there is hope out there, as people have been working on all of these hardwares for multiple years now. Haptax is a company making haptic gloves with positional tracking in the 3D space, realistic touch with 130 points of feedback per hand, and resistive force feedback that lets the user feel like they are gripping onto a virtual object. Tesla suit, but not this Tesla, is making a full body haptic suit. The suit is also tracked in a three dimensional space and comes with haptic feedback that lets the user feel anything from a breeze on their necks to a hard punch in the stomach. Another interesting feature is its climate control that would allow a user to feel the icy air of winter in Alaska or the scorching hot of the Sahara Desert. And finally, Infinidec is a company working on an omnidirectional treadmill that allows the user to walk in any direction while keeping them in the center of the space. What's funny is that both Tesla Suit and Infinidec made props for the Ready Player One movie. Now, I know that all this new hardware that I just mentioned is massive clunky and not available to consumers, but it's a step in the right direction. I can just imagine a day where we are all equipped with the same gear as seen in the movie, fully immersed in whatever reality we choose. All right guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to me, Gamer Reality, where I make gaming a reality. I post awesome virtual reality videos twice a week for you guys to enjoy. Thanks for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.